I mean, seeing Messi Marv in Kansas City to me is like, it's like if, if, if people in L.A. seen Snoop Dogg in um, Skid Row. You know what I mean? Like, if, you, if you're not familiar with Skid Row in L.A., there's a place called Skid Row. I'm, I'm telling you, like, it, it's the worst smell I ever smelled in my entire life. On one street, I mean, that shit was fucking completely, it was terrible. I don't know if it exists anymore, but back when I did smell that shit, that shit was bad. So, th- that's what I compare Messy Marv, uh, that's why I compare Messy Marv to Northern California compared to Snoop Dogg. The thing about Southern California and Northern California is, like, I don't give a damn how much these niggas gangs been beefing. I don't give a damn if these niggas is bloods and this niggas a crip. If these niggas are two hot niggas right now, they will get on a track together and make a track together. They don't give a fuck. L.A. is just, when it comes down to it, L.A., like, the rappers down there look at money first instead of, I don't like you. I'm not going to fuck with you. They look at money first. The fans want this. Let me go ahead and put this collaboration together and make some money. And that's what I always admired about L.A. You know what I mean? It wasn't too many, it wasn't too many beefs in L.A. I, I, the only beef that I really know about where niggas didn't really work together was Easy e and Death Row Records. And, um... And that wasn't even a no real beef. Like, eventually, I, I mean, after a while, they probably would have worked together if they could reconcile their differences. But, you know, matter of fact, Dr. Dre was about to make uh, an album with Easy e later on. They was about to do the, the reunion, uh, the NWA reunion. But that's the biggest problem in the Bay, man. You got one of the biggest rappers ever. To come out the Bay Area, and, I, and when, when Messi Moore was on, he was on. Everybody was bumping mess. Everybody came through bumping something involving mess. That's what's up. I mean, his song was knocking all through the Bay, and to see him at a, a young age. I mean, this nigga ain't fifty some years old in Tent City. This nigga only like around thirty eight, thirty nine years old in Tent City. He got motherfuckers pulling up on him, asking him what Operation Blood's on. What operation you want, blood? They say mess uh, crack, kid. Yeah, they say mess smoking dope. What they say about mess now? You pull out six dollars, cuz. And I just seen you like six months ago with like ten or ten bands on your Instagram. And you you getting t- taking pictures with all these rappers. And you act like you doing shit. I mean, like I said, you told me about your tour and never happened. You told fans about CDs and never happened. You told. Fans about the catch me outside challenge, and you never paid nobody. I mean, no one didn't really expect this from you, mess. But it, it all goes back to you know. What I mean, it all goes back to what I was saying before. Northern California has never been together, never been together. It's 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 sharky shark world out here in the rap game, and that's why you really don't find a lot of. Um, Hundred million dollar rappers, fifty million dollar rappers, all that you don't really find too many of those because it's sharky shark, and people out here in Northern California hold grudges. Okay, for instance, when Mac Dre, when Mac Dre was alive, and E Forty, them two didn't get along at all, which is, which is kind of depressing, you know, because it's like. I mean, E-40 was, E-40 is in my top five rapper, top ten rappers of all time. You know what I mean? Especially when it comes to, you know, spend some street shit, spend some shit about the dope game, spend some, man, E-40 got some game for your ass in his old albums. You got E-40. You got Matt Dre who spent some game and more live, more fun, more street, more, you know what I mean? More, you know, more in tune with the younger life. You know, I mean, Matt Dre was just so filled with so much energy and so much fun. Like, when I seen him perform, it was just so exciting. Like, I didn't want to go home. And 
these two never made song a song together ever. Even the song they came out, that that wasn't a song they made together. These two never made a song physically together in a studio. That's sad. Two Barry legends never made a song together in the studio. And then, like, you just had little shit like that. Just like Mozzie and Lavish D shit. They're never gonna get in the studio together. They hate each other for life. I mean, you got, you know, Filthy Rich. You know, Messy Marv had a problem with Too Short. He had a problem with Filthy Rich. You know what I mean? Filthy Rich had a problem with, with Mess. During the time that they was peaking. And then, like, every single time you turned around, there was always some kind of beef within the Northern California region where, you know, niggas don't get to go together. Like, if you, if you, um, if you look at, um, this one girl was explaining to me, she's like, the reason why Atlanta always is always successful and down south is always successful is because rappers down south work with each other. You know, they start, it's like a farm system. It's like, they all support each other. They all go to each other's shows. You know, they they all function with each other. You know what I mean? So, like, everyone knows each other. They buy each other's stuff. They go to each other's shows. They support each other. They pour, They put their music on their websites. You know what I mean? Help them out. Um, Same thing, well, in New York. You know, New York, like, it's kind of like L.A. I mean... Sometimes people be having feuds in New York, but people will put their, rappers in New York will put their um, differences aside in order to make a song. Um, Midwest is just coming up. Midwest was never really big in the rap game. Midwest is just now coming up, you know what I mean? So, I don't know, it's really hard to judge the Midwest and say is the Midwest together because, like, it's just too many country, it's too many country states within the midwest and not every state is like down it's just weird as fuck midwest is just hella weird how it goes so i don't count the midwest but down south it's just said like all these down south rappers always stick together and and that's why they always are always prosperous and down south rappers are making tons of money and really don't care about the west coast period you know as far as the bay area this is like Bay Area music is unique because really Bay Area and Northern Cali music really only Northern Cali people really play it the most. So I mean it's very unique and you got you guys gotta stick together, man. All this separation stuff ain't working. They ain't been working now and nobody nobody's really together. Everybody's for themselves and shit and you see it now, you know. All the rappers that messy mark put on his tapes, man. They don't even care about you, man. They left you in 10 City, man, with a cap application saying crack lord mess.